Hi Clever Pickles, I'm back. My voice is back. I'm a little bit croaky, but I'm ready to get into our next video. I hope you enjoyed the previous one with no voice. Today you get to hear my croaky voice. So we're going to do a little activity called addition wheel pairs and you're going to need just a whiteboard or a bit of paper and then something to write with. So I'm going to use the whiteboard today so I can rub out if I make a mistake. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm going to start with my whiteboard marker and to do this we're going to start by putting a circle in the middle and I'm going to leave it at the moment because soon we're going to put a number in the middle. So I've put some markers around here and I'm going to use those to draw some circles that are going to end up being addition problems that equal what's every, what number is in the middle. Oh, that's a bit small. And this is why I used a whiteboard. Okay, I'm going to get my other colour out now to fill these in. Now I'm going to pick a number that we've worked with a lot. I'm going to go with 20. Now the trick for this game is you always start with doubles and it doesn't matter where you go but I'm going to go over here first for our doubles. What doubles end up being 20? You should know it's 10 and 10. Okay, now this is where it will help you go around the addition wheel. I can pick anything I want that equals 20 or I can use this 10 and I can be sneaky and go around by dropping one. So if I go backwards from 10, I can go with nine and I know if I was one different here, I'm gonna be one different here, nine and 11 make 20, just like when we think of friends of 20. Let's drop down, eight. Eight and 12 go together to make 20. Let's keep going down, 10, nine, eight. What's next? Seven and 13. So I can see 10, nine, eight, seven. And look at this, there's a pattern going around here as well. 10, 11, 12, 13. These ones here are going down by one and then these ones are going up by one because there's a ratio there between those two. A bit of a tricky word we haven't used before but we're looking at how they go together to equal that same amount because it's always going to be the same total. So if I'm taking some away from here, I'm going to be putting some more on this side. Let's keep going and see if it still works. Six plus, we know we need, 14, 11, 12, 13, 14. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Let's keep going. 5 and 15. We know 5 and 5 is 10, which is why that 0 is there. And that extra 10 helps us get to 20. 4 and 16. It keeps going around. Let's do one more. 3 and 17. I mean, if you're super clever, you might want to make your wheel a bit more complex. Oops. And see if you can do more of these as you go around. Don't have to do it in order the way I did it, but it's very helpful to do it that way. So you can change that number in the middle and do whatever number you want. Remember, the rule is you must start with doubles. That should be your first one. You can go this way around the circle, you can go this way around the circle, up to you guys. And you know that if 20 is too easy for you, you should be picking a different number in the middle. And it can be as big as you want it to be, as long as you are thinking of how to get the answer and that you are challenging yourself properly and not just picking a silly number that you think is an awesome number because it's big. You need to pick one that makes you think like a mathematician. 
I hope you like that one guys, enjoy. Remember you can do it on paper, do it with a whiteboard, do it with a partner if you want to, or do it independently if you wanna challenge yourself and make sure that you're picking numbers that are suitable to your thinking. You've got your own focus, you've got your own personal best, make sure you do your best learning. Okay guys, see you in the next video, thanks, bye.